Hi everyone, Pam here from Creative Homescaping. The other day, Tracy of Secondhand Tracy Ann, formerly the Holiday Cookie Diva, uh, did the Halloween tag. She had been tagged by Crafty Kitty, and in Tracy's video, she tagged everybody who was watching the video. Well, I wasn't going to do this, but then I did leave a comment on her video about how I liked listening to her answers, and she said that uh, to consider myself tagged. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I'm going to look down and take a look at the questions. There's 20 of them. So let's get going here. So the first one is when do you decorate? Well, typically for Halloween, I have not decorated until right before Halloween unless I was going to have a party at my house. So probably like the week or two before Halloween, I would generally decorate. But um, the last couple of years, I have actually started decorating for Halloween around the 1st of October or maybe even right after the autumnal equinox um, if I haven't already put up some other fall decorations. But this year, I'm not doing too much for Halloween. We're not having a party. Um, my daughters are grown, so it's not as big of a deal for us anymore. We also live at the end of the cul-de-sac and there are a lot of streets in our neighborhoods that kind of are longer and go th through to the main street uh, at both ends of the street. And so people tend to go on those because they can go to a lot of different houses, whereas they don't tend to come down to our house so much. So it's a little weird. Some years we've run out of candy um, and then some years we've only had like one or two people come. So it's really hard for us to predict how many people are gonna show up at our house. Um, so that was kind of a long explanation about when I decorate. I kind of veered off there, not sure why. Um, number two, scary or funny? I like to do probably more towards the funny, although I do more like cute, cute spooky, not, I don't like the scary, gory things. I like cute pumpkins, cute, little target birds, as you know, and uh, that sort of decor. Number three, traditional colors or trendy colors? Depends on the mood I'm in. Some years I want to go more traditional and others I want to be a little more trendy. This year I'm going probably a little more traditional. I'm doing a lot of black, white, orange, and gray. Uh, number four, do you watch scary movies or funny scary movies? I do not watch scary movies. Um, they don't scare me at the time, but they end up giving me nightmares. So I don't like it because of that. So I try not to watch scary movies uh, that much. Number five, what is your favorite Halloween movie to watch? Well, like Tracy, that would be It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. That's probably the only Halloween movie that I've watched uh, more than once unless I was watching something like on Disney Channel with my children when they were little. Um, but that that is my favorite one because I grew up watching that when I was young. And then number six is, what are your top five movies to watch at Halloween? Well, I like I said, I don't really watch Halloween movies. Um, if I had to pick some that sort of go along with the Halloween theme, I'd probably pick the Harry Potter Potter movies because there's some in there that where they do Halloween uh, at least in the book there's Halloween things but I really don't watch uh, many actual Halloween movies number seven how much candy do you buy well this kind of goes on to my sidebar that I did earlier it's really hard for us to buy candy because we don't know how many people are gonna show up <laughs> one year we probably had like 60 or 70 people show up and then you know, the next year maybe we got two. So we usually buy enough to, to fill a big bowl like this. Um, and we always buy the type of candy that we would want to eat because if we do end up with some leftover, then we, then we uh, are able to uh, have it for ourselves. But one year I had to resort to giving out um, like granola bars or that type of thing because we ran out of candy. Um, number eight, what is your favorite Halloween candy? Uh, that would be Reese's. It's not specifically Halloween, um, but I do like Reese's, although 
as I mentioned before, I try not to eat a lot of sugar, but that's what we typically would buy. We buy Reese's, we buy Butterfinger, we buy Snickers. Those are the things that we usually buy to give out. Uh, number nine, have you ever eaten all your Halloween candy in one night? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. Um, at number 10, have you ever hosted a Halloween party? Yes, I have hosted a Halloween party. Um, I'm trying to think back. I think most if, most, if not all of them, were parties that I threw for my daughters when they were growing up. The last one I think we had was when my younger daughter was in high school, and it was a lot of fun. She picked out some food she wanted to make, and we did that. And if I can find any of the photos of the food that we made, I'll, I'll stick those in. Have you ever won a Halloween costume prize? No, I don't think I have. I did win um, a pumpkin at a fair, however. My daughter's elementary school had this fair they called the Boo Blast every year. It was a fundraiser for them. And instead of a cakewalk, they had a pumpkin walk. And I think at least once or twice we've won pumpkins from that. Um, number... Oh, 12. Have you ever played a trick on someone for not giving you a treat? Uh, when I trick or treated, I never had anybody not give me a treat, so that would be no. Number 13. Would you stay in a haunted house? I'm not sure what you mean by stay. Um, like, stay overnight? I, I never thought of it. Um, kind of near where I live, uh, at the port of Long Beach, there is an old um, cruise liner, ocean liner there called uh, the Queen Mary, and the Queen Mary is supposedly haunted, so they will do tours of that haunted ship. So it might be kind of fun to stay there. I have been to some houses they say might be haunted, like the uh, Winchester Mystery House, and also there's a house in Old Town San Diego called the Whaley House. Um, but I don't really believe in ghosts, so I would, I would probably uh, stay in a place. Number 14, would you be a zombie or a vampire? Why? Uh, now, like I mentioned earlier, I don't really like the scary things. I like the fun, festive, dressing up, cute aspects of Halloween. I don't like the gory stuff. Number 15, what is your favorite theme song? Favorite. I'm assuming that's Halloween related. Um, so I would probably say Monster Mash. And the reason that would be is my daughters had this Disney Halloween video um, when they were young. And one of the things they played in there was Monster Mash and they did some dancing to that. It was kind of cute. Number 16, what is your favorite? What, oh, I'm sorry. What is your Halloween costume going to be this year? Uh, I am not going to dress up for Halloween this year. I don't usually dress up anymore. Um, I did sometimes when my daughters were little, they wanted us to go as a kind of a cohesive unit, but it's been a long time since I dressed up. Sometimes I might put on a, like a witch's hat or something to hand out the candy. Uh, number 17, do you decorate your yard? Not really, we, we will decorate our porch area, but we don't really decorate the yard. Uh, number 18, what is your favorite monster? Well, <laughs> it's funny because this is the comment I left for Tracy. Um, she said Sully from Monsters, Inc. And that's what I had been thinking when she said that question. So that's my answer too, Sully from Monsters, Inc. Number 19, have you ever played in a graveyard? No, I've never played in a graveyard. I didn't live near where there were any graveyards. The only time I've been to a graveyard um, is, to, for, is for a funeral or to visit someone's grave. And number 20, 
Do you think Halloween is the most wonderful time of the year? Well, I'm not sure it's the most wonderful time of the year, but it is one of my favorite days. And I mentioned this before, I met my husband at a Halloween party. I almost did not go to that party. I was not feeling well, but I promised my dear friend who had just broken up with a long-term boyfriend that I would go to her with this party because I was trying to have her go out and get her mind off of her sorrows and show her that there were other people out there that she could meet and have fun with. So I, even though I was not well, I got dressed up and went to that party and the rest is history. So this Halloween, it will be 31 years ago that I met my husband. So can you believe that? <laughs> That's a long time. So last year we actually left our daughter's home. Gave, they gave out the candy and uh, we went out for a celebratory dinner. So I don't know if we'll do that again this year. We'll see. It depends on what they're up to. But that's it. Those are the 20 questions. I hope you enjoyed my answers. And if you are watching this video and you would like to do this tag, please feel free to do so. Please consider yourself tagged. And I will look forward to watching you do your video. I hope you all have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.